What's up guys, Atlas here, and today Bethesda released an update. Cool. Except that it screwed up all your mods. Because you used to be able to click right here, and you'd be able to see what plugins you have. Well, not so much anymore. So I'm going to teach you real quick how to fix that, so let's get right into it. You're going to want to go ahead and make sure the launcher is up and running. Uh, that way... You know, uh, that, I mean, that's just how this works. So you need to have the launcher up and running, and then you're going to want to open up Nexus Mod Manager. If you use any other kind of mod manager, I'm sorry, I don't know the fix. I have another fix, actually, that I can show you, but this is the fix for Nexus Mod Manager currently. So you're going to want to go ahead and just, once you have the launcher open, turn off your mods, turn them right back on, and that'll reinstall your plugins. So... What happens there is you need to go over to percent app data percent and mine brings up roaming that's okay it's not actually what you want to get into but I can just click back and get on to local so you want to go into app data and then local and you'll find fallout 4 and your plugins.txt so here I mean as you can see mine are actually all currently installed as I did this earlier because I wanted to play the game and use my mods so what you need to do here is once you've gotten all these uh, disabled and re-enabled, they should all show up in your plugins.txt. And if they do, or you know, once they do, you're going to want to go ahead and go to properties and change it to a read-only file. This way, Fallout cannot edit it whenever it starts the game, because that's what hap that's what's happening whenever you start your Fallout. Uh, it's going into your plugins.txt and clearing that all out. So that's uh, one way to fix it. And I'm going to show you this other way that I don't personally use because it kind of screws with some stuff. Like there's a, there's another app that I use. It's kind of like Steam, but it's a little different, and it won't activate with Fallout whenever I, uh, whenever I, whenever I tried this fix. Because this fix is a lot simpler, but it kind of screws with some stuff. So let's get into that. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and right click on Fallout, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files and you go okay so you have fallout4.exe and fallout4launcher.exe so an easy way to do this is just rename fallout4launcher.exe to like fo-launcher.exe and then change fallout4.exe to fallout4launcher.exe this should keep your mods enabled and it keeps you from having to go in and changing you know disabling and re-enabling everything uh, but this is not the method that I recommend. I recommend going with the disabling and re-enabling method. Although while it's you know while it's more inconvenient because if you want to install a new mod, you have to go in, change it, uh, keep you have to turn it off of read only and make sure the mod gets into the plugins.txt. While it's not convenient for you right now, that's the best and e uh, not easiest, but it's the best way to handle it. So. That's all I've got for you guys right now. Thanks for watching. Atlas signing out.